All right, so we have a little uh, semantic HTML quiz here. This tag is intended for a block of major navigation links, which is the element. <coughs> now, this tag surrounds content that could be placed uh, somewhere else and stand on its own. It could be it stand on its own. What can stand on its own? Article. Use this tag for the top area of a document, article, or section. When deciding between article and section, if something can stand on its own, use article. Not all links within a document must be in a nav element. You would use this tag for a forum post, a magazine or newspaper article, a blog entry, a user review, an object, or any other independent item of content. Huh? I'm going to say article, but I'm not totally sure. So uh, MDN article. Forum post, magazine, newspaper article, blog entry. So blog entry, forum post, user review. This element is generic container for flow content, which does not inherently represent anything. It can be used to group elements for styling purposes using class or ID attributes or because they share attribute values. It should be used only when no other semantic element, such as article or nav, is appropriate. What is the element? Div. A document may have several nav elements. Look it up. Look it up. Other pages to or, or to parts within the page, attributes. Not all links of document must be in nav, which is intended only for major block and navigation. Typically, the footer element often has a list of links that don't need to be in nav. Document may have several nav elements. <coughs> one for site navigation, one for intra page navigation. You could use this tag to enclose any of the following image, illustration, diagram, code snippet. <coughs> what would it be? Figure. MDN figure. <clears throat> oh, wonderful. Um, image illustration diagram code snippet. Use this tag for sidebars, inserts, advertisements, the biography of the author, or related links on a blog. It gives you the answer in the question or in the prompt. Which is it? Steve? Where? Sidebar. The, this element encloses, good try though, this element encloses contact information related to its nearest article or body ad ancestor. In the latter case, it applies to the whole document. Wait, sidebar. Thank you. Aside. Aside. See if it has the examples here. No. <clears throat> this element encloses contact information related to its nearest article or body ancestor. In the latter case, it applies to the whole document. See, Steve, we both got that last one wrong. Size so contact information for its nearest article or body ancestor, and latter case applies to the whole document. A caption can be associated with the figure element by inserting a fig caption inside of it. A, ca 
caption can be associated with the figure element. A caption or legend associated with the figure or an illustration to describe the rest of the data. Permitted parent, a figure element. Fig caption must be its first or last child. So it has to be inside a figure element. There can only be one of these tags per document, and the tag is for the primary content in the document. This tag cannot be used for content that is repeated across a set of documents, nor can it be used for sidebars, navigation links, copyright information, logos, and search forms. What is the tag? Primary content in the document goes in this. Use this tag for the bottom area of a document, article, or section. <laughs> what is it? Bottom area. Footer. This element encloses the main content in the body. I don't think of main. Main content of the body. What's the other one? Only one of these per page, tags per page, and tags for the primary content in the body. One main element in the document. Sections can contain multiple articles. Can the weekend section have multiple articles? Can the business section have multiple articles? Let's prove it. Section can contain flow content. Section content. What's section content? Doot, doot. Article aside, nav, section. And we can look. Uh, the tag is for a thematic grouping of content. What? Yeah, section, thematic. I'm going to click that. Thematic grouping of content. Article and section can typically contain a heading, H1 through H6. Typically with a heading. Section, article, typically including a heading. Do not use the section element as a generic container. This is what div is for, especially when sectioning is only for styling purposes. How many people say true? Raise your hand. How many people say false? Yeah, it's true. Do not use a section element as a generic container. That's what div is for, especially when section is only for styling. Articles can contain multiple sections. True, how many people say true? Raise your hand. How many people say false? It's true. These tags structure content on a page by topic and importance. H yeah, each one headings. The footer element often has a list of links that don't need to be in a nav element. How many people say true? How many people say false? 
And people are like, I don't know, dude, this is a lot. Use this tag to enclose an area that may contain some or all of the following. Information about the author, copyright data, links to related documents. I'm thinking address or a side. It's a side, right? What did I call it before? Sidebar. Side. Use this tag to enclose an area that may contain some or all the following information about the author, copyright, copyright. Nothing. Footer MDN. Ah, uh, information about the author, copyright, or links to related documents. Woo! Great job, Eric. See previous responses. It's cool. Interesting. Hundred and ten responses. It's picking up a little bit. Dropped off a lot of people and then none. That's cool. So just to review those before we close this out, header, footer, nav, have multiple ones on a page. Main, only one per page. Article needs to stand on its own. Article could have many sections. A section could have many articles, kind of like a newspaper. A section doesn't stand on its own. Article and section should each have a heading inside of them, typically. And a side, tangentially related, like an advertisement or author's bio. Footer. The bottom of an area it could be the page or it could be an article. H1 through H6 signify importance. Figure, fig caption. Fig caption has to be inside figure. Address. Supplies contact information for its nearest article or body ancestor. So, uh, hands on exercise. I want you to do the HTML structure. Uh, a web page that has a movie review and then comments from users on the review. Okay? Web page has a movie review and comments from users on the review. Use semantic HTML. If you like this video, like this video. Click the like button down there. It helps people find it. Thank you.